So the plumber, he just got done working. Uh, he routed the pipes by the grease trap, and now the basement smells like uh, ass. It smells like rotten ass. dishwasher called in and she had to have emergency surgery of some kind so I don't have a dishwasher and I'm already sure to cook and I'm busy so this is the restaurant business getting ready to go upstairs for service I have to be honest I'm a little tired but uh, it's the way it is um, The restaurant business has definitely changed. Um, it's different. Uh, it's hard to get people now. It's hard to find people. It's hard to keep people. Uh, and that's, I think, of all the issues that we've had, uh, that's the biggest one, is just finding people who, not just finding people, finding good people, you know. Uh, the key to that, is to be, is to push yourself to do better every day, to attract those kind of people, to be good yourself, to be great, to be excellent, uh, attracts that, but it's still, it's still hard. Um, so yeah. It is 10.30-ish. Uh, I just got to work. I am going to have this double espresso and work on some things today. One of the things I'm gonna work on is french fries. Uh, we had papas, or patatas bravas on the menu. Uh, it's, uh, I didn't like them, so I took it off. Uh, but I think a good neighborhood sort of restaurant, you need to have some fries, personally, personal belief. Um, so I'm gonna work on that today. I, I had a version that I liked, it was just too much work. It involved uh, cooking them three times, and it would be, that's great, and it, they were really crispy, but to do those every single day, day in and day out, it's, I don't know if it's practical. So I'm gonna try a little different, so an old school way of making french fries, see if that works. Um, that's it, and I got, I got other things to do, but. So these are fries that I made. I fried them once on a really low temperature, like 200 degrees, and I fried them uh, until they were cooked all the way through, but not uh, crispy or anything. Um, and then I let them cool down, uh, and then I turned the fryer way up to 400 degrees, or more, I couldn't even tell. <laughs> uh, and then I blanched them again, basically, I cooked them again. And that's, that's really common, it's most how most people make fries, and it usually works, uh, but they're not crispy enough for me. And there's still more variables, there's the potatoes you use, there's the oil you use, uh, there's other steps you can do. A lot of people say to freeze them after that initial blanching helps with the crispiness. Um, so, I mean, they taste fine, but I want it to be so crunchy that like three blocks away you can hear someone like bite into the fries. So that's something I really want to work on and we're gonna have to figure it out and I'm gonna have a couple and then like rethink what I can do different. Um, maybe the potatoes. I know uh, a lot of people use Kennebuck potatoes. They're hard to get all the time and I find the the quality, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. So, uh, and I know a lot of people who use regular Idaho potatoes and they get really crispy fries. So it's like, it's, it's, it's something that can be done. It's just a matter of figuring out how, how it works for me and uh, how we can. Showing you how to make a dish. Uh, in Spanish, it's called escalivada. It's a roasted vegetable dish. It's on our menu right now. It's really easy, and that's what I was going to show you. Uh, 
especially around this time of year when people are starting to get nicer and people are going to grow outside. It's super easy, it's a healthy, it's a way to get some vegetables and you can, it's really hard to screw up. Uh, and so first thing I'm doing is I got some eggplant and I left it whole and I got some peppers. I'm just gonna char them on the outside really, really well. The eggplant, I poke a few holes because sometimes they can explode. Um, just poke a few holes in them, cook them over a moderate heat until they get super. I was gonna do a little bit more uh, exp explanation with the Escalivada, but some people dropped in and I got busy and some things went wrong. Uh, <laughs> so I kinda had to uh, drop what I was doing and take care of some business. Um, whatever, it's business. Uh, you get the idea though, like roasted peppers, roasted eggplant, Roasted red onions, you could do them on the grill or just stick them in an oven for a while and like really just char the hell out of them. And then sherry vinegar and olive oil, that's really the basic olio, uh, escalivada. And you can add herbs or whatever you want and use really good olive oil, it makes a big difference. And uh, we serve it with burrata cheese just because we, we like it that way. So uh, hopefully, you know, you guys kind of get the recipe. I don't really measure anything. I know it's tough, but it's just it's how we do, and it's how you become a good cook anyway, is to just sort of just keep doing it and cooking, and you'll figure it out, you know, which I know. I mean, I've been doing this 30 years, so it's a little bit different for me, but um, I think you guys get the idea. Thanks for watching, uh, and if you want to, you know, you can come into the restaurant and try it. A lot easier than making it, but uh, if you want to see more videos like this, Please click. Uh...